Today we're going to be working through project 4.1 on page 146 of the textbook. The project name is division. Uh, we are going to be working uh, with um, a simple division problem that takes two integers in no particular order, divides the larger integer by the smaller integer, and expresses the answer to the problem as a uh, quotient and a remainder as opposed to a decimal and or a fraction. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to look at the project description, uh, and this is uh, taken word for word from the book, and that's um, on page 146. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and create an IPO chart. Okay, just a simple chart, uh, input, processing, and output. Do a little formatting. If we look and uh, do a little color coding on this, we're going to put the input column in blue, the output column in yellow. Okay, if we look up here in the program description, we are going to be taking two integers as inputs, so we will change that highlight to a blue, a blueish color. And then um, the quotient and the remainder are going to be outputs, and we're going to highlight that in yellow. Okay, uh, we have to come up with uh, names for our input. Um, we're just um, going to call them descriptive self documenting um, names. Uh, we'll call it first integer and second integer. Our outputs, uh, we'll just name those simply quotient and remainder. Now the trick to this is to recognize that the integers are not necessarily entered in any order. So we either have, we need to figure out how um, how those are, uh, which one is the large one and which one is the small one. In chapter four we learned about two, um, two functions which, which um, will help us with this. Those being um, standard functions within the math class, max and min. Um, so the very really simple thing is going to be to create a quotient. The quotient will be math.max uh, first integer, second integer divided by math.min first integer, second integer. Okay, similarly we're going to find the remainder with the almost exact same formula. So I'm just going to copy this, place it down here. The only thing that we're going to change is we're going to change um, the division sign to the modulo sign. Uh, modulo is what creates um, the remainder as opposed to the quotient. So this is our input, processing and output. Uh, input is going to be, of course, integers. Quotients will also be integers when we uh, code. So uh, now that we have this um, underway, we can go ahead and open uh, jcreator. Uh, jcreator is not listed right here, so all I have to do is to... Just a second. Okay, sorry about that interruption. Uh, we're going to open up jcreator. Um, it's not listed in the shortcut window right here, so we'll go down to the search window, just type it in, like so. Uh, the thing about jcreator, it's usually really quick to open, which is nice. We're going to create a um, jcreator project by going to File, New, Project. We're going to create a basic application. Next, I'm going to change the location to the desktop just so it'll be easy to keep track of. And uh, from over here, the project name is division. So we will 
set that to division. Next, next, finish, finish. Okay, the first thing is to change the standard documentation. very first thing we're going to have to do uh, since we're receiving input from the keyboard is to create a reader object like so and then we're going to declare First integer, second integer, quotient, and remainder. These are all integers, so um, we don't have to worry about multiple data types. Okay, then we're going to pull first integer from the keyboard. Same thing for the second integer. Now I'm just going to copy this and paste it and then make the necessary changes. And then we'll come in and do um, establish what quotient and remainder are. So quotient is going to be math dot max first integer second integer divided by math dot min first integer second integer Remainder is almost exactly the same, except we change the division sign to a modulo sign. And then we're just going to print this out. Now we're going to line character plus quotient plus an R for remainder like so build the file First integer of 9, second integer of 2, we should get an answer of 4, remainder 1, like so. Uh, I'm going to go in and add a second new line character right here, just so that doesn't come up and run up against that press any file to, or press any key to close like so. All right. 